Hello and welcome, Holder here, and I am playing Colony Survival. Now, as you can see here, I have done a bit more work on my world, and I tidied up the circle. First of all, I made a bigger one going around the exterior, then I doubled it up just to make it look a bit more chunkier. And then we tidied up the interior one. Well, the uh, interior, the exterior interior, so basically this one here. We uh, made that fit properly. Uh, it's hard to look the edges, so it's more of a circle now. And we increased the amount of green. And the inside was left untouched, although I did remove some of the blocks that were in here, apart from these, just to have torches on. And we added water here, so basically I dug a hole which ran underneath this grass just from one of the areas and it filled everything up and to be honest I think it looks pretty nice. Still not sure where I want all of the torch placement but for now this is just you know set to illuminate the area as much as possible. Now over here we have the house I've been working on and as you can see it is pretty well done. If we have a look around I have a little window up there now the window is currently just a couple of blocks missing but it's got a torch inside we've got the cherry planks or the red planks used for the roof because it actually works quite nicely and uh, yeah it's a pretty big building and it may look a bit odd on its own at the moment but this is going to be the design and hopefully I'm going to make a few more of them if we go inside we can see that a ground floor is currently bare we got the steps, we've got this room, and I went ahead and added a second floor. Because by the time I had the roof on, it was so massive. We ended up having all this like room up top. So I figured, you know what, why not? Let's go ahead and you know, add a new floor in. And I've got more room for beds basically. So my intention is to fill these houses. I mean, there's no way I can really do any decorating at the moment. So my best use for these houses is to use them for beds. So, in fact, rather than make more beds, although eventually I will use every bed that exists, we're going to go ahead and move them. We're going to go ahead and start moving these beds over to the house and hopefully, you know, having my workers live there. I think that'll be a good use, you know. Unsure if they can use that bed though. Like if I put it in there, I don't think they're going to be able to get in. So if I go there, that's probably a better way to, to do it. And I can basically just line them up like this, it doesn't really matter. I like to spread them out just a little bit, you know, I don't want it going wall to wall completely. But, uh, yeah. Then we're going to get some beds down on the ground floor, but I may wait for the moment before I do that. Last thing I want is, you know, trouble for my colonists. A zombie walking in and it taking them out. So I found that if you remove access to your banner, it basically disables siege mode. So if you wanted to build without zombies coming after you, you can do that. The only problem is it multiplies uh, the food usage by 6. So 170 days then multiplied by 6. So that becomes a lot of food. But to be fair, the zombies haven't been that much of an issue. What's the problem at the moment? Oh, they're gonna have flaxseed. Right, okay. I'm gonna want a flax farm, but I kinda wanna move that over here. Actually, I can, I can leave it here for now. Temp, you know what I mean? Eventually I'm gonna move these farms. But for now, let's go ahead and get this down. Hmm. 
We have plenty of food, it's just stockpiling. I don't think I need a hundred, I'm just gonna go with ten. Well, maybe twenty-five. What's this? Cherry sapling. What's the cherry like there's no like cherry farming, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and make that five just to see what they look like. Having the dirt blocks and the grass being made was very useful because as you can see here, I forgot to mention it. I was able to, oh, I haven't finished. Okay, so I've been working on this. Basically just been filling this in. Over time, and because I'm able to buy grass, I don't have to go and decimate the terrain elsewhere, which is pretty nice. So basically I've just been going around filling in all of this and it, it's coming together nicely. It is coming together. So I just got to keep this up. Look at that. Nice and easy. Although I do run out of grass pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I need to set the priorities a bit better. But yeah. This is all going to get filled in, which is good. I'm not bothering about filling this gap in underneath. It's not going to make any difference. Nothing's going to spawn down there, at l least at the moment. Not until they update the game and they add some, like, one block high mob that can crawl around. And then we find out we've got, like, a, some sort of creature utopia underneath the city. Kind of scary. So yeah, I'll let my grass build up a little bit, maybe go look at how much I'm currently buying. I always seem to be at 50 at most when I look. So I'm thinking I've got like a, a cap set. Still considering surrounding that ring with bushes and such, but I don't know yet. Just a shop. Yeah, that's why. We actually want 200 of that. And 100. Actually, let's make it just 100. Because once we got him, we've got him. Once we got him, we got him. Well, yeah, I could add bushes down to the sides there, but I think right now this looks pretty good. I don't want to mess with it too much. And this is filling in just nicely. in very nicely. Any more? No? Okay. So, I actually do have a cherry sapling here. Let's go ahead and plant them there and just see what happens. See what it gives us. See if it gives us anything new. So one thing that I do need to do is look at getting this wall done because, to be honest, the zombies are starting to become a bit overwhelming for my guards. I've had a few guards killed now in various locations because the amount of zombies that come and attack are just staggeringly high. So that's something we're going to have to look into. How's this looking? I like that. Everyone's using their beds. That's cool. If I get another one, another house like this, it'll probably take care of all my bed needs. What, what are these people doing? Oh, they're just slow getting to their house. That's not good. They need to be a bit quicker. Need to be a bit quicker. I feel like I do need another guy. Eventually this structure is going to be torn down. That's a little too close for comfort. I'm just going to dump him there.
just to ensure we're not going to lose this. Yeah, you can see what I mean here with all these uh, zombies. There's quite a few. I'm just wondering where to get more troops, though. Where I want more guards. Although, honestly, this isn't going to be an issue once I've got more. I suppose for now. I could just leave it down here, or maybe on this block. Have four of them. The good thing is they all have to come round now. And the reason why I added this here is because we do need to step up. I tried making a bridge across, but it looks weird. So I found the best way to do this is just to add... Step, and... The only way they can get to the banner now is by coming through this way, which is actually good. In fact, why don't we go ahead and... Add one more. Need planks. Where is he standing? He's standing three blocks in. Not that it matters, but you know, just to make it look nice. Because as you can see here, there's a lot of them. And we're not killing them quick enough. Although for every new colonist we get, we get a lot more zombies. But once I've got like an outer wall built, this should become a bit more manageable. I've got plenty of stone to work with at the moment. See what I mean? But they get closer and closer every time. That's one of the biggest problems with this. Now as far as this exterior wall goes, I'm going to stop worrying about the design. And at the very least, I can focus on making it, you know, too high all the way along. That at least secures the area. So we'll work on getting like an exterior wall that's too high all the way around. And then we'll go from there. But the question is, how far or how big do we want it? So I'm thinking if I have this wall come back to here somewhere. Because I feel like this is going to be like the back and the front of this colony is going to be over there. Then again, it would make sense to have multiple gates, you know, on either side and so on. <laughs> I like that way they all just wrecked old to death. I suppose, if I'm only doing it too high to begin with... See, the problem is here. This is where it becomes the issue. Although once the wall's a bit bigger, it's not going to matter. So at the very, very least, it would need to come a bit further. At the very least, it would need to come this way just a bit more. So I could skip that house. You know, if I, if I wanted to do it basic for now. Which probably is the bad idea. It doesn't take long to kill these bricks. Yes, it can be a bit of a pain, but better to do this now.
Why is there a gap in the wall over there? It's poor craftsmanship. So yeah, if I do it just this big for now, should allow me room to go ahead and get more houses in here and then I can basically make one entrance for now and have more guards posted there just to deal with the increasing number of zombies and then from there we can start working on building and spreading out a bit more. That or I could have made my village completely open. I don't necessarily need walls. I could just have a bunch of guard towers everywhere if I wanted it more open. But I kind of want some sort of, you know, defense. There we go, filling this in nicely. It's coming together. It's coming together, I reckon. Now, what do you guys think? You think this looks alright? One thing I want to avoid doing, because I noticed I do this a lot in my Minecraft builds, is that I'll do a lot of, like, landscaping. I'll do a lot of, like, big, heavy construction in that sense, or terraforming. And then I never really get down, or, like, I'll do a massive grand build, like this house. Because I did it before for a, a village I was working on, and then I never go back, and I'll never touch it again. Which kind of sucks. We will see. We will see. We will see. This is the easiest way to do it. At the very least, we'll get this wall in, in place. Then I don't have to worry about the zombies coming. And I will need to move my farm somewhere. Because I don't want them where they are now. But if I bring this, like, far enough this way, I can get a few more houses in. hoping that now that I know what I'm doing and I've got plenty of materials, it should just be a simple case of building at the house. The tedious part is getting the roof done, you know what I mean? All the times I've got to fall off. Already dreading it. I'll just go ahead and get this side done. The rest of it I'll do in my off time, but I just kind of want you to get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Just a little idea, a little look, a little looky, you know. Okay, I'll start building another house somewhere. I've got to work out good spacing. So let's say we have a gap of at least one, two, just to be on the safe side so let's say we start it here that's quite a big gap between the houses so we would want where is it give me the log I'm just going to go ahead and just smack it there so that's going to give us a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 block gap between and then you take away two blocks because the roof will come to come out to about there so that'll leave a nice little gap yeah that should work that should work should look pretty good too how many blocks did we make the back one two three four five six no that can't be right Seven, yeah. Because if it was a uh, even number, we wouldn't have the door. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get the basic foundation down and we'll work from there. So, getting this built up should be a pretty easy task. We know what we want to do. 
So... <laughs> now just think about it, I could then add basements to these buildings if I wanted to. Like, do we really want to make a house have that much room? I guess it depends on how big my... Like, the only way this colony is going to look like a legit city is to have lots of houses. But because I actually want people moving about the streets, I'm tempted to make it so... Rather than just having these big square fields, maybe have like lines and rows and stuff. Perhaps going along, you know, just on the outside of here. So you actually see people, you know, walking up and down and moving around the interior of the city rather than all going to one place to work and then that's it, you don't see them again afterwards. If that makes sense. Definitely something I want to try avoiding. I, I want to spread it out, I want to make it look like it's a living city, or at least has people in the city. Even though they're all going to be working and doing their own thing. You know, that's kind of what I want to aim for. And I think I can pull that off. If I'm creative in terms of placement of having my, you know, farms and the sizes and shapes of them. And yeah, we can have a couple of traditional ones out there, but... You know what I mean. Question is as well, how close... Do the zombies spawn? To my colony, are they gonna come... Inside the walls, are they gonna spawn inside the walls? That is a good question. We'll have to test it and find out. I just want to finish this wall and then call it quits here. Bosh, there we go. So yep, this will go up. Yep, this will go up here. We'll... Did I already do it too high? No, that's fine. We got no zombies coming in that side, which is good. Is anyone coming around the wall? Yep, now we're getting them. Now they're coming in from around the wall. Oh! Cherry trees. They give us these pink saplings. We could use them for something. They look like cotton candy. <laughs> and the tree bark. Okay. That's cool. We could use them throughout the town as well. Give it a bit of color. We could certainly do that. In fact, probably have an archer stationed inside here, facing outwards. Although there's not going to be much point once the wall's complete. But yeah, do you see what I mean about the amount of enemies coming our way? That is quite a bit. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Join me again next time. Until then.